The new trend in photography that is quickly becoming the new rage in romance. And as CBS 4's Vanessa Borge reveals, this time it's the man who's in the spotlight. Lindsay Lohan has done it. Katy Perry, Anne Hathaway, and Emily Blunt have all disrobed and put on sultry faces for their boudoir photo shoots. But a recent Instagram post by singer Jessica Simpson has changed the typically sexy and seductive photography of women to include her husband. It's a new form of sexy photos called doudoir. Boudoir photography is, it specializes in beautiful portraits of a woman and doudoir photography are beautiful portraits of a man of a man or dude and the trend is catching on amongst men I would love to give my girlfriend like something cool for Valentine's so Austin Schwab is giving her a unique kind of photograph and he wanted it to capture something special given that look like what my girlfriend looks at the picture she's like that's my man you know that's 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 mine Photographer Natalie Lassini says she's seeing more and more men looking for the doudoir treatment. Doudoir photography is not necessarily about being shirtless or nude. For us, a very classic timeless portrait could be a man in a three-piece suit. But like boudoir photography, it's all about capturing something more intimate. We do start with more clothing, and then we start to possibly unveil layer by layer. We're crossing gender lines in terms of fashion, in terms of behavior. So really it was just a question of time before men would start giving these photos as gifts. Clinical psychologist Barbara Greenberg says men are starting to understand it doesn't always have to be the woman as a symbol for sexy. That's why Marisol Saber scheduled a doudoir shoot for her husband to commemorate his 50th birthday. That's him being proud of the way he looks. But for men who may be drawn to less is more in a photograph of women, Saber says she has a different preference. I love him in a suit and tie. It is very sexy. Doudoir photography may not be for everybody, but photographers say they're seeing this as a popular anniversary gift, particularly for a first anniversary and, as you might expect, for Valentine's Day. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News tonight. All right, so the obvious question. <coughs> when are I you am, all scheduling your appointments? Listen, <laughs> I am so glad because I thought I was the only one doing this for my wife. What? No. We In learned suit, something new. Right, which you do every night. No. <laughs> and Valentine's Day has already passed. Oh, oh well. Next, Next year. year. <laughs> Let's show you what's